Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to take better videos and photos with your existing mobile camera. So friends, a lot of you might know recently I switched to this Poco X3 Pro, which have a 20 megapixel decent camera in front, so I can take better videos. But before that, I have been using this Nokia 500 Plus, which have a 13 megapixel primary camera and an 8 megapixel front camera. I managed to get the fullest out of the back camera, and I'll show you the tips and tricks which I followed to get it. So friends, let's jump into it. So friends, the step one is to learn the bad basics of camera. So friends, the bad basics of cameras is three things, shutter speed, aperture and ISO. These three things called as the holy trinity of photography. You could not do anything like photo, video or even cinematography without these considering these three things. So friends, let's dive into it one by one. But I'll be saying very basics about it. If you want to learn everything about it, go and watch something like Peter McKinnon's video or Matty Hapaja's video or like if you want videos in Tamil, go and watch VTK Photography's videos. Those are excellent because they are professionals, they know lots and lots about it. But I know something which I have learned and I'm going to share it to you. Hey friends, hold on for a second. I totally forgot to mention about my very good friend and teacher on photo and videography and on editing too. He is Ashwin Srinivasan. I have given links for his YouTube channels down below. Go and show some love if you are interested in music and Photoshop. Need hard support friends. Please support both of us by like, share, comment and subscribing to our YouTube channels and let's jump back to the topic. So friends, the first thing is shutter speed. The shutter speed controls a lot of aspects in photography but to explain to you, I'll say some examples. If you want a fast moving subject to be captured in frame like a freezing the frame, you need a high frame rate like 1 by 500 or 1 by 2, 250. But if you need a slow moving subject or if you want a motion blur in the photo, you just need a 1 by 60th or 1 by 80th of shutter speed but if in case you want to do a light painting you need at least like three or five or ten seconds of shutter speed so friends the second thing is aperture aperture controls two main things in photo and videography the number one is how much light entering into your camera and the second thing is depth of field so friends if you want a bright picture and if you want a higher shutter speed you need a wide opened aperture if the f number is very small the, the opening will be large and if the f number is higher like f9 f8 the opening will be tiny so it works counterwise you want to get into it so friends if you want a bright shot and if you want higher shutter speed you need a wide opened aperture and if you want a shallow depth of field you need a wide opened aperture but if in case if you are shooting a landscape everything should be in focus right at that time you need to crank up your f stops like f9 f12 or f15 so that you can get all those details out of your landscape so friends the iso is just the sensitivity of the sensor to capture the lights so simply saying it is just a fake light which is added to your footage by the sensor itself but i won't suggest no one would suggest to do it because it will add noise to your footage or photo which is not good because you can't rectify it as, as much as like uh, original photo which is taken with better light so i suggest you to get a good lighting rather than adding fake light by cranking up the iso so these are the three things and let's dive into the step two is lighting. Lighting is one of the most important thing in photo or videography. It carried out the emotion, the feeling which you want to deliver to your, your audience. So friends, if you want better lighting for your footage, the best way to get it is by natural light. Go and sit beside or opposite to a window. The soft diffuse sunlight will lighten up your face evenly and your footage will look great. But if you can't, like me, I'm shooting inside a bedroom which have no ventilation so i'm having some artificial lights over here so friends i have a two nine watt led bulbs glowing right me in 45 degrees each side and i have made something to diffuse it i made some diys so that the light will be even and diffused then friends you may see the practical light which is glowing over there i just made it by a smartphone i just covered with some tape and i made some marks with markers so that it will be glowing in different color so friends everything you should be creative you don't have money so friends, if you have a lot of money, go and invest on an Aperture 120D or a Godox SL160. But if you can't, just get some lights and do some DIY so that get, you can get even more better shots than you could normally. So friends, the tip number three or the step number three is using manual mode. This is one of the most underrated thing behind the beginners, but still it works a lot. Because if I want a steady, clear footage, I need the focus should be logged in a place. But if you are using a normal camera app, which is inbuilt in your mobile phone, it will not work in the way. But still, nowadays mobile cameras have the focus and exposure lock, but it is not sufficient for some times. For that times, you need an external app which can control all the manual controls because 
the inbuilt camera app on every mobile have a separate or specific pro mode for photos but it doesn't have anything like that for videos so you want to install an external app i have used a lot of apps well my journey but i liked few apps i'll be saying that name if you want you can install that but if you don't like just install any other apps i like filmic pro the, to the most and then cinema f5 and pro cam x and even google camera and mx camera but everything works nearly the same but still the reliability differs with each and every app so friends the step number four is planning ahead of time you want to plan each and every shot before filming itself because it makes the editing easier at the same time it will give better videos at the end results so friends if, if i'm shooting a b-roll i want to know where to start and where should i stop so that i can film all the footages which i want in between and i can edit it easily and as much as quickly i can so friends the step number four or the tip number four is know your software just learn as much as you can about your software which you are using i'm not a person who relies on a single software because i have used a lot of softwares like premiere pro power director pz power director mobile and kinemaster mobile and in short and even some other apps but i love kinemaster and premiere pro a lot because those things have a lot more controls but at first when i don't know about much about editing i used to use power director because that is very very user friendly and that is so much beginner friendly than kinemaster or premiere pro you can just install it and straight away use it even if you just know zero about editing so just get it and use it then friends by knowing your software you can edit much faster when you're editing much faster you will have a lot more time to f film actually when you're having a lot of footage you will be your editing will be even more good so it is just a cycle like thing you want to work accordingly so friends the final tip and step is choose better music still i'm struggling for it even though youtube have its own audio library and you can download tons and tons of copyright free music but still, I'm a lazy guy to select music from them. I'm just struggling to get better music for my videos. But as soon as possible, I'll be getting better music because I'm trying to do it so that I can keep on getting better at it. So friends, you want to select the better suitable music for your footage. If you are shooting an epic B-roll, the calm and happy music will not be the right thing for it. You want to select an ultra epic music to make the footage look even better so friends the six step and tip is over and i hope you got something new and if you learn something new please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and relatives and family because it may be useful for a lot more and friends if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so that you will get a notification for my every videos and friends if you are a person who just came for this video please go and check my other videos i'm an artist and i'm doing realism artworks for a long time now so please go and check check those out and Thank you so much for watching friends. See you in the next video. Until then, this is Vishwa. Bye. Have a good day.